Which is Peter Kevorkian. Who? <laughs> the man of the hour. You want me? Uh, yeah, yeah, come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Yep. Let's do it. You good, you good, Steve? I'm good. All right. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, hi, Mom. Hey. Okay. We're, we're good. Hi, Patty. All right. Wait, wait. Quick. Hey, quick. I, I've already had enough. See. That's I'm good. I'm yeah. good. Yeah, 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 the good stuff's on the inside. But I like yeah. the outside, too. All right. We have another box here. Oh. A mm, quick got that one. Okay. All right. Uh, so, uh, Steve, why don't you take it away and introduce Pete? Well, um, P Dr. Peter Kevorkian is uh, you know, doing everything in chiropractic. No. You, you look, any, anywhere you look, he's there. He's at, you know, overseas. He's, he's uh, on the board at Sherman. He's on the board of the IFCO and has been for quite some time. ICPA. Um, ICPA. You, you name it, he's doing it. And uh, just giving, giving, loving um, so much heart and soul you know, that he gives to chiropractic. So uh, it's my honor to uh, sit next to him and, and be here today with you. Very awesome. kind. Thank awesome. you. We, uh, uh, last time Pete was on the show, we, uh, we coined a phrase. We said, Liam Schubel was the big deal. Peter Kevorkian is the real deal. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I sure. think that says it yeah. all. So, so let's take it away. Uh, uh, Pete, so we see you on Facebook just recently um, all over the world. Right? Okay, wait, I got to say something. Go ahead. I never... Well, I can't say never. Hardly ever post anything on Facebook. <laughs> I don't know. I anything see that you makes it to all Facebook, over the place. Somebody else puts it there. Yeah. Uh, so, somebody else puts it there. So what's going on internationally with chiropractic? Let's let's start there. Give, uh, us, a, give us a rundown. IFCO International. Y you know what? I have to say, I have never been so excited mm -hmm. for chiropractic. And I really believe that a lot of the issues that we have here in the United States that we batter around back and forth, worry about academically, accreditation, politically, insurance, yada, 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 um, doesn't exist yet right. in the countries. And we are beginning to, the IFCO is making a presence internationally in Europe, in South America, in the Southern Hemisphere, all over the, all over the place, um, on our viewpoint, our brand, our ideal chiropractic so there are practitioners there I was just in um, Sao Paulo Brazil mm -hmm. and the volume of practitioners in that area had no idea family practice pediatric care lifetime wellness care the general ideology in Brazil has been um, short-term acute care their practices are not doing great. There is no right. law in Brazil. Mm -hmm. um, I was able to uh, go down there due to uh, uh, Seth Levine and, and um, Dave Sirio and a few other people, and I, I, I did a, a day-long seminar for them. By the end of that seminar, people were lit up right. on chiropractic. Mm -hmm. They got a vitalistic perspective. Uh, they, didn't, they, they weren't made wrong. The, the, the paradigm that they live in was not one that they chose to let go of as much as they began to embrace a whole new place that they could live. Right. And they could see that there is benefit to lifetime-oriented, subluxation-centered chiropractic care. Um, they were given tools to make that come alive. They uh, were shown how to adjust babies, mm -hmm. children. I know, without a shadow of a doubt, thousands Before of children. Before that, they were not checking They were ones. not checking babies. Yeah. Uh, by the end of this year, thousands. Wow. of children will be, have their subluxations corrected. That's awesome. um, so it, it is emerging, and there's a consciousness that's shifting. I believe that that effort, as well as efforts of others, I mean, that last year, uh, Liam and, and uh, Seth and myself and uh, uh, the, uh, Eddie Diaz, a few other people were down in Brazil and mm -hmm. began the, that, that conversation. I know that we are influencing the laws that they are going to be creating in other countries. Right. Um, so it's very exciting. It's, I think it's an exciting time. I think the same kind of thing is happening in parts of Europe. The uh, same type of thing is beginning to happen in Asia. I mean, mm -hmm. the, there's uh, a call out from uh, the Chinese that want to understand our brand of chiropractic, subluxation-centered, uh, subluxation-correcting care. Right. Uh, so I heard they're right. connecting with Sherman somehow. Isn't there a yeah, relationship we're, there? Yeah, we're, we're going out in, um, in, um, in June. Mm -hmm. the, uh, uh, the president of the college, myself, uh, some of the uh, administrators, high-level people at the nice. college, uh, to begin a conversation and mm -hmm. see where it goes. And it's very, right. very, very exciting. Awesome. That's, very that's exciting. wonderful. And uh, so now there's not a, a lot, let's say, there's a lot more chiropractors here than outside the borders, uh, as you just mentioned. Uh, how is it? Uh, um, are they going to get the information if we're not giving it to them? 
because they, they can't get it unless we're, we're sharing it with them. Right. So that's why ICO is stepping up. And IFCO is things. going out there. What's great is mm-hmm. IFCO is creating leadership outside of the mm-hmm. country. Right. And there are people outside the United States that are embracing the ideal, that are embracing the, the philosophy, that are embracing the clinical mm-hmm. service, and that are keeping it to their people. Because I'm an American. Right. right. And yes, I can go there and I can share my truth. But when you have... Uh, uh, that lights up a Brazilian or a Swede or whoever it is, and then they become a leader in their culture and their people and their talk on the tick. Mm-hmm. That's what's making the change. Right. And just like how we are here in IFCO, if it trickles out to the rest of the world, we are going to have world members who are IFCO members, and then it's just going to keep on spreading. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. That, that's awesome. And, and, and that's the perfect um, mission and vision that we have for the organization. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. We have more questions to ask if you. Uh, we had to write a couple of them down. So let's see yeah. What's so up next. yeah. Well, you know, why should someone join the IFCO in the first place? You know, so someone out there who's <laughs> thinking about it, maybe hasn't even thought about it. Why? Why should they join? You know, the first reason to join IFCO. Let's take a step back. First reason to join any organization is about giving back. You know, so often I get asked, "Well, what, what am I going to get by joining?" Whatever. It's not about what you get. It's about what you give. And we have a responsibility to give back to our profession. Uh, we have a responsibility to, to take the role of leadership, whether that leadership comes with energy or it comes with dollars. Mm-hmm. So we need to join our organizations to give back. And if you're going to give back, you want to give back to an organization that stands for what you stand for. Uh, there is no organization, in my mind, uh, as a political organization that stays as congruent and consistent to the ideals of where I live in chiropractic than the IFCO. You know, vertebral subluxation correction is the central focal point of what it is we do. And it's not about um, anything else. And I'm not, I'm not judging other organizations, but the, uh, you know, I am a member of the IFCO because it supports what I stand for. Mm-hmm. I put my energy into chiropractic because of the ideals that IFCO stands for. So that's number one reason to join. Number two reason to join is to get. I mean, you, you, you're going to be in a fellowship and in a community that supports that. Mm-hmm. That, you know, this weekend, you know, I'm going to be surrounded by some of the finest people on the planet who are my brothers and sisters in chiropractic. 90% of them, 95% of them are IFCO members. Mm-hmm. And by the end of the weekend, 100% will be. So to me, that's the, the, that's, that, that's the greatest amount of getting that you can get. And there are clearly member benefits that come with an organization in terms of seminars and discounts, yada, yada, yada. But that, that, those are, that's not the main reason to join sure. an organization. And, and, so you and I know exactly back. what you're saying about when, when you're giving back. Uh, I just mentioned with uh, Danny on before, I've been out for 10 years now out of Sherman College. And for the first four or five years, I, I was busy and uh, doing everything, getting involved. But once I started getting involved much more, uh, it's I've been so busy, the busiest I've ever been, but it's the practice has never been busier also. Uh, so, uh, you know, working with ISCO, working with the Garden State Chiropractic Society, uh, working with Sherman College and doing ISCO TV. So I'm involved a great deal also, as, as we all are, but practice has never been bigger and better. Uh, so if you get involved and give back to the profession, it just keeps on giving and giving and giving to yourself as well. You know, there is nothing um, professionally that I enjoy more mm-hmm. than to be in my practice. Right. To serve my patients, to yeah. adjust my patients. It is, uh, to be out of my practice is always um, a challenge. Mm-hmm. At the same way, at the same right, being gone out of my practice a day or two days in a week, uh, knowing that I can influence other people right. to make a difference within their practices and the people that they're going to touch. Uh, it is, you know, my my desire is not to be out of my practice, but to give back. Right. At the same rate of doing that, uh, there is a universal intelligence. There is a plan. And as mm-hmm. you said, as I put that energy, even though it's not in my practice, it comes back to me in my practice. Right. Uh, the comments from my patients, the, the follow through of my patients, my practice members, uh, it is extraordinary. It is absolutely amazing to me how that, that cycle just keeps nurturing itself well, you, and feeding itself. You, you're, you're getting more certain every time you go out and speak absolutely. too, right? You know, absolutely. That's, that's, you just get stronger and come back, fire it up, and, and they sense it, and, they, and, they, and they're inspired by you going out. I'm sure to and doing this well you know what's interesting is many patients uh, uh, members of my practice have been there for years uh, will tell me that they they like it much better when I'm there mm-hmm. um, at the same time they feel as though they are participating mm-hmm. in 
me being able to go away yeah. by them being okay with the fact that I'm gone. Yeah. Is gone. So it's it's an interesting a, a part of something that I never thought that I would see happen. But people are actually excited to know that I'm going away, that I'm doing something, that I'm taking tick mm. to other places in the world. The kids are getting adjusted. The chiropractors are learning how to adjust kids. So that's that to me is, is well, really because they, they know your why. They understand the they big totally idea, understand the, the big, big idea. idea of it. Right. Yeah. So, so let's talk with um, uh, the members or, or even future members about why they should join the ICO, but how, what can they do? And if they don't know what to do, what, what do we have for them? Well, let, let's give them an idea. Well, first thing, join. Yeah. Okay, be, become a member. Uh, and you know, go to ifcochiro.org. Uh, membership application is simple enough. It is not very expensive. That's step number one. Step number two is show up. Uh, show up to events such as this. I heard Danny just talking about Mile High, mm -hmm. but definitely come to the summit. The summit that we're doing in September 2014 in Miami, it's in the United States this year, uh, an exciting time. Uh, some of the finest speakers in all of chiropractic. Uh, it'll be motivational. Uh, the theme of this one, the undercurrent that is living uh, within all of it, and the, all of the speakers are being instructed to do so, is to give clear gems pearls and implement the things that can be implemented in practice on Monday, they can begin to grow practices. Absolutely. Uh, the speakers are all accomplished practitioners, all successful practitioners, not just people who are selling something, but they are actually hands on making it happen. Each of them is specifically going to share things about them, their unique factor that people can identify with and bring back into their practices. Right. So I can almost assure you, and I don't give guarantees, but I'll give you a guarantee. You come to the IFCO Summit this September, pay attention, stay awake, stay in the room, keep your feet in the room the, the, the entire time, listen, and you will go back to your practice, your practice will grow. We are so uh, blessed to be in this profession because it's giving us everything. It, literally everything, wherever we get to, we went to Scotland, we went to Dominican Republic, uh, and now we're going to Miami, and all the places that you just mentioned that you went to around the world. It's all because chiropractic. That's right. Yeah. So it's almost a right. You have to give back a bit to help keep this profession going and alive, and it's thriving now too. And so I, I have lots of uh, interns who come into the office uh, because they're eventually going to go off to chiropractic college. And I share with them, we're sort of setting it up for the next generation. Absolutely. Leaving it better for them. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know, if, if uh, the next generation isn't standing on our shoulders, we're not doing something right. Exactly you know, right. The, the idea is not to sit on uh, uh, BJ or DD or, mm -hmm. or, or, or Sid Williams or Tom Gilardi or anybody else did and to do what they did as much as it is, is to stand on their shoulders, learn from the the leaders of the past and reach for new heights right see new goals new aspirations and that's what we're doing mm -hmm. and people need to do that in future generations mm -hmm. I don't want people to do what Peter Kevorkian does I want him to take I want him to look back and say well I'm glad he did what he did and climbed to where he could climb so I could see the, the next mountaintop the next place to go right right we, we um, need to keep growing there, there's a quote I don't remember who said it but if you're doing the same thing as everybody else is doing that's not the future that's right yeah. Yeah. yeah pete why don't you give everybody uh how they can get in touch with you if they have anything uh to talk with you about uh i'm real easy to get in touch mm -hmm. with uh, uh my email peter k d c p e t e r k is in kevorkian dc as for doctor of chiropractic at gmail.com easiest way to get in touch with me uh you can get in touch with me through ifco go to the website i'm Vice President of the IFCO, mm -hmm. get in touch with me through the ICPA, the International Chiropractic Pediatric Association. Uh, I'm uh, president of the organization, so you can get through, in touch with me through there. Or Sherman College, the center of the chiropractic universe. Um, uh, chairman of the board, get in touch with me right. that way. So I'm easy to get in touch with awesome. any of those places. Awesome. Well, Pete, thanks so much. Thank I know you guys. You're, you're about to go this. MC. We're right. going to make Thank it happen. We're going to yep. rock and roll. Yep. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Fantastic. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Enjoy. Okay, that was Peter Kevorkian, guys. Oh. So we're going to take a couple moments. Up next is...